Hi, and welcome to this course by PACT called Architecting Reactive Angular Applications with Redux and NGRX. My name is Chris Noring. I'm a Google developer expert, a Telerik developer expert, and I'm also a published author of the following books by PACT. Learning Angular, second edition, Architecting Angular Applications with Redux, RxJS, and NGRX. I also have a Twitter account, Chris underscore Noring, Let's talk about the content of this course. This course consists of nine different sections. In the first section, we'll be talking about how to get started with Redux and what the basic concepts of Redux are. In section two, we'll be talking about RxJS library and the different fundamentals that will make you really good at reactive programming. In section three, we will be talking about NGRX and the fact that it consists of a lot of different libraries in section three specifically, we'll be talking about the most important find YRX library called the store. In section four, we'll be covering debugging and how easy it is to actually keep track of what happens to your store and when. In section five, we'll be talking about routing and the router state and what you can actually save down and how you can customize what gets saved down. We will also look at how you can navigate using the NGRX routing. In the second half of our course, firstly in section six, talk about how to handle side effects. We'll be talking about side effects generally and how those can be made to be handled within the context of NDRX. In section seven, we'll be talking about how to leverage the entity library and all its nice utility methods that will end up reducing a lot of the boilerplate that you now have to type. In section eight, we'll be talking about how to scaffold different NDRX artifacts files that you will always need to create for every NGRX project. In section nine, we will finish off the course by building our own implementation of NGRX and really understand what's going on under the hood. Let's talk about what you need to know to get the most out of this course. If you have some basic understanding of Angular and even created a project or two, and also that you have fundamental understanding of the Angular CLI, some basic Node.js, and knowledge is good to have, and also the fundamentals of JavaScript and the most common constructs in TypeScript. Are you ready? I'm ready. So let's get started.